Pierced ears and tattoos are some of the only socially acceptable body modifications. Though gauges and face tattoos are becoming more common, they are still considered fringe in most communities. But some people take body modifications to a whole new extreme. Today we're looking at idiots who ruin their bodies. In a bizarre turn of events, a British man named Ted Richards had his ears surgically removed in order to look more like his pet parrot. First, he had his face and eyeballs tattooed to look more like them, but he decided that wasn't enough. I think it looks really great. I love it. It's the best thing that has happened to me. I'm so happy it's unreal. I can't stop looking in the mirror, Richards told Southwest News Service. I've done it because I want to look like my parrots as much as possible. I've had my hair long for so many years my ears have been covered up. Richard says he used to be teased about his ears when he was younger, but insists that's not the reason why he went under the knife. Ted, a retired shoe factory worker, got his first tattoo in 1976 and has since built up a collection of body modifications covering almost his entire body, including a peace sign branded on his left shoulder with a 750 degree centigrade hot iron and two magnets implanted in his hands. He shares his home in Hartcliffe, Bristol with his four parrots, as well as South American green iguana Iggy and Pitbull Terrier Candy. He scours the internet looking for new procedures and says his facial transformation is a tribute to his babies, Ellie, a green-winged macaw, and Tika, a harlequin macaw. A man named Lucky Diamond Rich holds a Guinness World Record, but not in the category that most people are competing for. Born in New Zealand as Gregory Paul McLaren, an extraordinary and record-breaking future lay ahead of him. He grew up to be a performer, joining the circus aged just 16. As he got older, his repertoire expanded to include chainsaw juggling, unicycling, and sword swallowing, and a brand new name. While certainly being a talented musician, artist, and performer, Lucky Rich is most renowned for his extensive tattoos. He has spent more than 1,000 hours under the needle. He had his body modified by hundreds of artists all around the world. At some point, Lucky Rich got interested in heavy black work, and shortly after opted for a new adventure in the tattoo world, a full black ink covering his entire body, including toes, intimate parts, foreskin, ears, eyelids, gums, and insides of the mouth. The word karma, inscribed in bold white lettering, is probably the most visible and memorable tattoo on Lucky's body. A young Australian man who went through more than 40 body modification procedures claims to be the world's most modified youth. Ethan Bramble from Melbourne has had a string of body modifications, including getting his tongue split, his belly button removed, and his eyeballs tattooed black. Mr. Bramble, who recently turned 24, has always had a passion for body art and started modifying his body at just 11 years old. With over 125,000 followers on Instagram, Mr. Bramble is supported by his legions of fans who are fascinated by his looks. I've always liked different. Different is cool. Different is unique, he told Barcroft TV. More or less, I just fell in love with the way it looks and how you feel when you walk down the street and you kind of get that sense of empowerment. With tattoos across his body and face, Mr. Bramble says he doesn't like to put a number on how many individual tattoos he has, but estimates as much as two-thirds of his body is entirely covered in ink. But Bramble was recently in the news for a very different reason when he was charged with a violent assault. Genya Bulatov is a platypus, or at least that's how the 30-year-old Russian designer described himself to Newsdog Media. Externally, I am now a platypus, he said. My resemblance is the way I want it to be. It takes bravery to do what I've done, and I will keep modifying my body until I'm happy. Bulatov does have at least one platypus-like feature. His lip stretches out more than two inches horizontally, according to Cosmopolitan. He's been piercing and transforming his body since he was 18, and the results are pretty captivating. Many of Bulatov's piercings are fluorescent in black light, which makes the designer's appearance in the dark all the more harrowing. He began experimenting with piercings when he was 10, and for some reason his schoolmates found him strange and he had a lonely childhood. But at the age of 19, Genya had an epiphany. He realized that all this time, inside, he was actually a platypus. As the years went on, Genya kept at it, becoming the first known person to get the bridge of his nose stretched. Though he doesn't look particularly like a platypus, you have to respect his commitment to the appearance. A Venezuelan father named Henry Rodriguez had his nose removed and his entire head tattooed to look like Captain America's arch enemy in the Marvel comic universe. And the process wasn't cheap either. He spent more than $40,000 to become this Nazi supervillain. Images show the 37-year-old's journey as he first gets his eyes tattooed black, has implants inserted into his head, and then undergoes a painful operation to have part of his nose removed. Other shots show how Henry interacts with his adorable three-year-old son, Aaron. I would like to highlight that I came from a very modest and traditional family, said Henry. It wasn't easy for my family to accept my lifestyle, but 
but even so, they are still my family and a part of me. My son, Aaron Rodrigo, is three years old. If he accepts me and loves me, I don't care about what other people would say. What matters to me is being happy and accepting myself. We will always be judged. Red Skull first appeared in 1947 as the Nazi agent archenemy of Marvel hero Captain America and most recently appeared in the 2011 film Captain America The First Avenger, played by Hugo Weaving. The difference is that Hugo Weaving achieved this look through makeup, whereas Rodriguez made more permanent changes. Eric Sprague, better known as the Lizard Man. I'm Eric Sprague, and you've got Lizard Man. Is a freak show and sideshow performer, best known for his body modification, including sharpened teeth, full body tattoo of green scales, bifurcated tongue, subdermal implants, and green inked lips. Sprague's body modifications took years and involved over 700 hours of tattooing. But since his transformation, he's built a career on his reptilian skin, specializing in sideshow acts like suspending weights from his body piercings, sword swallowing, and pushing a giant corkscrew through his head. Made most famous by Ripley's Believe It or Not, Sprague is also a host of the Jägermeister Music Tour. He was a guest on The Tyra Banks Show and is a writer for Body Modification e -Zine. He lives in Austin, Texas and holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in Philosophy from Hartwick College in Oneonta, New York. He has performed all kinds of acts, including fire eating, sword swallowing, laying on a bed of nails, and has also acted as a human dartboard. With her breast implants, pumped up lips, and platinum dyed hair, Cindy Moore looks a lot like a blow-up sex doll, which is exactly the look she's going for. Dressed in fishnet bodysuits, schoolgirl-style skirts, and extra small bra tops, Cindy says she posts the pictures for herself rather than anyone else. The mom from Manchester told Barcroft TV, I think people just think you post these pictures because you want sex or you want a man, but I post the pictures because I think, wow, you look great. I just post it because it makes me feel good. After Cindy learned that her fiancé was cheating on her, she decided to become perfect. The woman spent $12,500 to look like an inflatable doll. Miss Moore has had three lips fillers, breast enlargement, hair extensions, and false nails and eyelashes done. She also shed half her weight, going to the gym seven times a week. Unfortunately, her body hasn't only brought her joy. She has found herself bullied by other mothers, both in her children's school and online. Parents even forbid their kids to be friends with Cindy's daughter. A heavily tattooed and pierced man, who goes by the name The Creature, says his appearance is so bizarre that even his five-year-old daughter is scared of him. Marcus Boykin is a tattoo artist and body piercer, who has turned his body into a canvas, featuring his own unique designs and piercings. He performs at the Venice Beach Freak Show, which was turned into a reality series on AMC back in 2013, called Freak Show. He says, My body will never be done. This is my story. I'm still living, so my story can't be done. Despite how kind he comes off on the show, it's hard for people to see his big heart through his body art. The creature explains, Because of this dedication, the average person draws themselves away from me, or grabs their kids in fear of me. He said his ex-wife has never really supported his decision. She's known me from the beginning, but since I've made the transformation, it's still something that was hard for her to deal with, he said. Joey Migler broke the world record for the most number of flesh tunnels back in 2015. His unsettling piercings mean that the 27-year-old is one of the stars in the Guinness World Records series. Mr. Migler is able to fit his forked tongue through 34-millimeter holes in each of his cheeks. He can even slide a string of strawberry lace from cheek to cheek. He has 11 expanders in total all over his face, including his nose and lips. Though this revolting procedure has made it extremely difficult to date or make friends, Migler stands by his decisions and says that it's just a part of who he is. Regarding the man who makes these modifications, he says, I trust him with my whole body. He is highly trained. He needs to be, as it's a very complicated process to cut through the cheeks. It's really dangerous to cut the salivary glands. The Enigma, born Paul Lawrence, is an American sideshow performer, actor, and musician who has undergone extensive body modification, including horn implants, ear reshaping, multiple body piercings, and a full-body jigsaw puzzle tattoo. The Enigma has appeared in a number of television programs, including Penn and & Teller and The X-Files, where he played a character called The Conundrum, loosely based upon himself. Palisade Toys later made a toy based on this character as part of their X-Files Pals action figure line. This character was also prominently featured on the X-Files pinball machine. His performances often involve extreme and dangerous tools, such as a drill, electric saw, fire, sword, blade, and many more. Enigma was born and raised in Seattle, Washington. 
His first love is music, which he began to study when he was six years old. In 1991, he became one of the founding members of the Jim Rose Circus. He toured with the circus as a founding member until he left the show in 1998. During their tour, he played music and did sideshow performances as well, under the name Human Marvels. The rest, as is visible in his freakish features, is history.